Hi everybody and welcome back to the Paperless Movement YouTube channel. I'm Tom Solid. I'm your host for today. <laughs> Hi everybody and welcome back to the Paperless Movement YouTube channel. I'm Tom Solid and I'm so excited because iPad OS 15 will change for the Apple note-taking app everything. Well, it will sort of improve it but also adds new features. So what it is, we will just find out now. So let's start with talking about inline tags. I already suggested in the online course and also in the video, why don't you just write down hashtag and a word. So this is called tags or hashtag tag, hashtag word. The thing is that you will be able to find information much quicker. Yes, you can search for certain words, but if you define it by a hashtag, you can sort it. So you can imagine it as a folder without a folder structure. If you're interested to learn more about the differences between folder and tags, there's actually enough information in the Paperless Movement membership where I show you in detail how to leverage the tagging system in any application. So I won't go into any more detail here. The, the thing I want to point out in this video is actually that we have tags in Apple Notes now. And this allows us now to even handwrite tags. It will recognize it by just selecting it and then tap convert to tag. And it places it in your Apple Notes application. So easily to tap on a tag and it will show you the related notes. I think this is awesome. And we also saw in the Reminders app, as a side note, in the new iPad OS 15 update, that they added tags there as well. So it would be awesome if we have a cross functionality, but I haven't seen that yet. So what's so exciting about tags? Yes, as I said, you can just now write and add tags inside text. Oh my God, this is getting complicated. Tags, tabbing, tapping, text. I really have to get my pronunciation right, I guess. Enough tag, text, tapping thing going on now. Let's get to the next topic. Quick notes. And quick notes is really something amazing. Quick notes. So if you think about the last video that I made, if you missed it, just check it out. Um, where I showed you how to use Apple Notes and why I'm using it as. Because I know there are many good notes users, notability users and other people out there telling me, oh, there are so much better note-taking apps um, that you can use for sophisticated notes. But that's not what I'm looking for when I'm using Apple Notes. I'm using Apple Notes for quick access, to have a quick look into what I've just scribbled down and what I collected over time, things like that. I can. If you look, if you watch the other video. With Apple Notes, it was already possible that I can just go here, tap on the screen and it will create a new note for me. And, and I have quickly access. There's, the, there's no easier way to get access to your notes than doing it this way using Apple Notes. Yes, you can create some shortcuts for your notability in GoodNotes to get quick access, but still it's much more convenient just tapping and start writing. And with quick notes, this allows you to drag up a quick note from the bottom and you can just write something down and then you swipe it away. And when you swipe it away, it will stay there. You can just get it back in, make more notes. And if you have even Safari opened and you take some quick notes from a specific site, you can save the link that you are in on this site. You can make some highlights and save it to notes. And whenever you open up this note again, it will also highlight it in your Safari browser, what you actually want to keep in mind. I think this is an awesome step into the right direction and even make me think, uh, if I should switch to Safari from, I'm a Google Chrome user for several reasons, but Safari really becomes strong because it integrates so well with all the other Apple tools. And we're really at the point where you can build up a productivity system end to end easily. You could do this easily with using only Apple products like Apple Notes, Reminders, Calendar and Safari you would have a single source of truth that is enclosed in itself and you have access to everything on all your Apple devices. But this is the thing, 
on your Apple devices. So you don't have access if you're on Windows or Samsung and you have a combination of tools, then those are the limits. So obviously Apple wants to drag you into their universe and this is how they do this. But the Quick Notes feature is really amazing. So it makes it really easy, whatever you do on the iPad, to quickly just scribble something down and make a note about this and then collect the information. But this is the danger. And this is what we talk about endlessly in the Paperless Movement membership, note-taking is just the input part of your productivity system. I define a productivity system by input, control, output, refine, I-core. And this is the framework that I provide in the Paperless Movement membership, where you actually find the different parts of your productivity system. And Apple Notes or the note-taking on a paper, for example, this is just the input part. You scribble something down, but how do you find information later? Yes, we have text now. Yes, we can search for information. So if this is um, quick enough for you and you don't have a big complex knowledge base that you need, that's maybe exactly what you need. You can have a complete iCore running in your Apple Notes app or any other note, even on paper. If you have a system for how I create tasks and how you know, how to tick them off, how to find tasks. You can do this with text. One example. Now you go in Apple Notes, you write something down and you just place a tag to do. That's it. And now you can easily search for the tag to do and you find all the notes that has an actionable item in the note. And whenever you finish this item, you just delete the tag. It's as easy as that. Obviously, you have no reminders and things like that, but we come to integrations at another point. So if you're interested to learn more about this, make sure that you subscribe to this channel. If you liked what you saw so far, give it a thumbs up. And now let's get to the other improvements there. So they also improved a lot of stuff. And I know in the comments below the last video where I talked about Apple Notes, you've been talking about resizing images. It's still not possible to rotate these images but it's possible to resize them and to integrate them into your handwritten text. So if you handwrite something, you can drag and drop an image into your text and it will be there and you can write around this. You can even annotate onto the text. And I also showed you already in the last video that we already have the option to add PDFs and we can even annotate the PDFs inside notes. So it really becomes a big system that is securely saved in your iCloud and accessible from all your other Apple devices. And I think this is really something that we have to consider here. And they improved collaboration. More and more they go into collaboration also with the file sharing now that we get in iCloud, where we have easy way to share files across the different devices, but also the drag and drop from one system like a MacBook into another system like an iPad. All these things are so amazing that are coming to iPad OS 15. Collaboration is really a key feature. And again, in Apple Notes, you have an easy way now to collaborate. You can give colors to your collaborators. You can swipe in and see the different collaborators. So this is really something that gets it to the next level as well. What do you think about this upgrade? Is it enough? Would you have expected more from the iPad OS 15 in regards of Apple Notes? Obviously, there's a lot more features like the widgets and all this. I love this too. But today we talk about Apple Notes. Do you like this? Let us know in the comments below and I'm there to answer you. And if you have any questions, put them there as well. I'm happy to make a video about this, okay? And if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel and I'll catch you up next time or inside the Paperless Movement community. So if you haven't joined us already, make sure that you check out the link in the description below. If you want to join us, it would be awesome. We are awesome community where we exchange all these things in a closed, secure place. Cannot wait to meet you there. Or on this channel. Or there. Or on this channel. Or both. Both. Both is the best, isn't it? And I'll catch you up next time.